Mayday's from China. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector, welcome back to the YouTube channel. And in today's video we are going to do a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison of two cheap ass sticks from China. I did have some problems with the left one. Um, I did have some problems and I'm going to show you what it is. So stay tuned and let's play some games. Alright, let's play some Street Fighter 3rd Strike. And this is the game where I noticed my problem. I'm just going to jump ahead and play this game. I'm going to choose uh, Akuma and the main reason is I can not do my move every time. That is something pretty damn weird. As you can see here I can do this Shoryuken. But when I'm trying it again, it's only punching. It's not very common that it happens with me. I'm not a professional gamer but I can do my show you can and every time you try to do it first I was thinking this was more like a personal handicap but playing this game and even asking my buddy Neil Gunlock and he plays a lot of games with a fight stick and he had the same problem so I figured out there was something wrong with this cheap arcade stick so alright I was thinking alright alright let's try another game let's try Tekken 3 so when doing multiple angle moves, or I think that's how they call it, I noticed this problem, but if you're playing games like Soul Edge, Soul Blade, um, if you play Tekken, there is no problem at all. So it's it has this problem with Street Fighter. I tried it with a couple of Street Fighter games and they all have the same problem. As you can see here, the gen move, the flying or twisting it kick, it works perfectly. So, the strangest one that has multiple inputs, then I have a problem. And let's be honest, if you cannot do your moves with Street Fighter, this is going to be a big problem for me, because the games are freaking unplayable. I must say, uh, the left one is the cheap one from the arcade machine. As you can see already on the pin connector, it's really cheap. The left one is around, let's say, $5, and the right one is the new one I bought, and these are around $10, no Zenwa. Alright, let's take a close look at the left one, or the extremely cheap one. And I can hear already that using very cheap as micro switches. And this can be a problem. Let's take a close look at the second one, is the $10 version. The more expensive, still, a Chinese knockoff of Sanwa. But nevertheless, it's got a different build. So, as you can see here. Okay, maybe here it got some better switches. All right, the moment of truth. I have swapped out the sticks. I must say they feel way better than the cheap F versions. All right. Let's see. Oh, that was more like a personal handicap. Oh yeah. Oh, this works way better. This works way better than the first or the $5 cheap ass arcade sticks. Oh, personality cap. Still personality cap. Yep. I can tell you ready. I can tell you ready. It was worth the money. All right, let's play some more games. Of course, with the Chinese sticks, these games work just fine, but the special moves also requires the same movement like the Shoryuken. And it works instantly. And I also did so, I didn't record it, but I also did this or attempt to do that move, but it has the same result. So, for the final conclusion, don't buy the cheapest arcade joystick you can find. Five dollars or again this one ten dollars. Just buy the ten dollars if you're on a tight budget and if you want to have the best stuff, just buy the original Samba buttons or joystick in this case. 
I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more gaming. Just a gaming channel. And if you have any questions or feedback, leave it in the comments. And see you next time. Bye bye.